Alright, Splatoon 3 predictions, here we go. First thing I want to talk about, release date. It's no mystery that Nintendo is going to release a game, a new Splatoon game before summer of 2021. I think it's going to get released in 2020, late 2020. Um, it'll get announced during the virtual E3 presentation in 20, in June 2020. And I think the actual game is going to come out in fall 2020. So, a lot of 2020 for Splatoon, hopefully. Um, for new modes, I think they're going to scrap one and add two. They're going to scrap Clam Blitz, most underwhelming mode in my opinion. I'm sure some people agree with that. I don't know. Um, the new mode, I think, is going to be involved with Annie. She is the character that runs the headgear shop. And it's going to be like Grisco was in Splatoon 2, the sketchy sort of organization in Inkopolis. Um, and in Splatoon 3, Salmon Run and Grisco is going to be a main place to visit. I think that Annie, um, there will be either a slot system or, or a challenge. Slot system is totally luck based, like lining up three in a row or something. Um, you get free gear or something like that if you do it. The challenge, like covering a certain amount of turf or popping a certain amount of balloons in a set amount of time. Um, and you get free gear for that as well. Or just something else. Um, sea snails, whatever you want. Um, coins, whatever. Um, for the second new mode. Hopefully this name doesn't stick, because I'm absolutely terrible at naming things. It's called Sea Snail Sprint, a part of ranked mode. It's going to be like Clam Blitz, but there's going to be Sea Snails. And to make it more interesting, there's going to be a spinner or a coin toss to see who gets the most Sea Snails. Just to spice it up a little bit um, to start. You play to 100 just like Clam Blitz and all the other ranked modes. And if you win, you and your team split them evenly. So you each get 25 Sea Snails. As for other modes, I'd love to see a Battle Royale, but I don't think that's happening. Uh, single player campaign. I don't think the sing I don't play the single player campaign a lot, but I've heard that it is really good in both Splatoon 1 and 2. I think now that Callie went missing in Splatoon 2, then all four, both Squid Sisters and Off the Hook, are going to go missing. So that means Callie, Marie, Pearl, and Marina are all going to go missing. Like Marie played the role of your guide in Splatoon 2. Um, I think Krusty Sean, he's going to get rid of his food truck and he's going to play that role in Splatoon 3. Making the game more interesting and a better experience. Then at the end, you fight a huge boss. And if you beat it, you get all four news reporters back and they announce and they all announce the stages together. Um, so that means who would be announcing the stages then? Well, probably... I would say Judd and Spike, or Judd and Little Judd, or Judd and Spike. Um, I think it would be cool to see, and with like the news reporters, it would spice it up a little bit, um, and I would definitely play it if it was like that. Uh, the gameplay of it, I know a lot of people think that Nintendo is going to stick to like the stage and mode rotation every couple of hours. like in the previous Splatoon games, but I actually don't think so. I think Nintendo is going to listen to the fans more this time, and they're going to give us a lot more freedom to make custom settings and choose what stages we want to play. I think we will also get to choose whatever ranked mode we want to play when we're playing ranked mode, whether it's Splat Zones, Turf War, Tower Control, Sea Snail Sprint, Rainmaker, whatever. Additionally, I think they're going to let multiple players play on one Switch on the TV or in tabletop mode. But that could go 50-50 either way. I'm just saying that they're going to add it. It's been asked for ever since the original Splatoon game came out in 2015, so I'd love to see it. Um, I think they're going to bring back all the little mini-games in um, an arcade. Um, and they're going to change it into a multiplayer format. And... Add some new ones like they do every game, sort of like Mario Party. So, like the Squid Jump game would probably return. So, yeah. Um, I want to predict the stages at launch. Splatoon 1 had five stages and Splatoon 2 had eight stages. I think this time around we're going to get a launch start of 12 stages. Half being new and half being old. So, three from Splatoon 1, 